or if you if there's an awkwardness between you if there's something that's been on your mind you know just just talk about that and see how we'll see what happens with that see yeah. how much better you might feel the next day you know if it just something that you've never mentioned before e even just it might not be a problem but just talk about something that you've never talked about before with the person that you're going yeah, home with that's amazing. and i had an absolute tsunami of messages the next day from people saying you know what i did that yeah. and this happened and my life is so much better for that's it beautiful. now and it, and and um that's it's just so simple nobody kills themselves while they're talking to someone yeah the act of talking and Saying stuff out loud and offloading, people don't realise how powerful that is. There's a fascinating thing. Um, and my mum is a, a Samaritan and works on, mm. on the Samaritan's ho hotlines. And one of the things I found are most fascinating when learning about that more was that at the end of every shift, there's someone always on who's at home who the people who've been on the hotlines that night have to ring to offload. And it's just... And again, it's not to go into... Detail if that isn't appropriate, but it's to say, here's what, you know, happened tonight. Here's what we went through. Mm. And that's because, again, it, it, until I heard that, it blew my mind that people can sit there, that, you, you, you know, the strength of people at Calm or at the Samaritans or wherever to hear, you know, often these horrific things and then just go back to their lives. But the act of having to ring someone else to offload it and say, here's what's, you know, here's what happened. Here's what we've been through. It's therapy in itself. So thinking of that, of just someone hearing about these things, so the act of speaking it when it's your own issues mm. and problems is is a massive deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and um, I tell you what I found incredibly interesting, Pitt, was when um, when I hit rock bottom end of 2013 and uh, I got into a situation where I, I had a suicide plan. You know, I wanted to die. Yeah. It was plain and simple. And I, and I knew how I was going to do it. I knew where I was going to park my car. And, I, I you know, oh. I, I had this whole... Uh, th this whole thing. I, um, I, I'm one of these uh, often anno annoying people that w when somebody says, how are you? I just unload straight away. Yeah. Like, it yeah. happens on the steps, just, just out of side of the studio where we are. This lovely guy, he's probably sitting where, no, he's not there. Uh, oh, is it? The, Neil. Neil's Neil's there, there. Yeah, he's just Neil, come back. Neil goes, uh, he goes, how are you, man? And uh, around about this time, I went, shit, absolutely shit. Um, yeah. and, uh, and he just was stunned. You know, it was just like... I, he gave me this look like I was only like, like being nice and, and, and I just went to the studio and and I remember feeling just awful um, that he would, had made such a nice gesture to sort of say, right. how are you? But of course he was he was just expecting the stock yeah. uh, male reply of, I'm fine, thanks, yeah, no I'm matter right. what. Yeah, I'm yeah. all right, fine. Um, but uh, I wasn't. And so I I said I wasn't. And um, and I sent him an email just going, mate, I, I'm so sorry that I uh, that I did that. I'm just, I'm having a real, I'm having some real problems at the moment. And and um, and I and I just, I'm, I'm very honest. I've always been yeah. very yeah. Br brutally honest sometimes. And, and I'm really sorry if, if, it, if it wasn't, your nice gesture wasn't returned in the in the spirit with yeah. which it was given yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, and he was so nice he sent yeah. me such a sweet email back and um and that focuses on what i was going to say which is that during that time i when people and that's somebody i don't even know really neil yeah. you know but it was a lovely work colleague but you know when actual friends you know would say hey how are you you know i go oh, you know just awful really really bad and i st and why and then i st I, I talk about it and then and I, and uh, I, st I talk about my own sort of mental health and stuff and and then i found out horrifically that about 9 out of 10 of the men that i talked to had either tried to commit suicide or yeah. were uh, on happy pills or had been on happy pills and, and been de de depressed or walked into a and &E thinking that they were insane. You know, all of these things, you know, uh, uh, happened to me. Yeah. And, um, and I, I, it was just staggering the amount of people out there that have mental health issues but then don't talk about don't them. Don't talk you about know, it. I, I exactly had my mate, that. my mate goes, you know, I tried to commit suicide two times. And I go, but I don't want to say his name, but I, like I went, mate, like why the hell didn't you call me? Like yeah. I didn't even know. And he was like, oh, you know, you know. And but of course, I knew the answer is because when you're in a hole, you can't see the horizon. You don't want to. You don't want to. You feel as though you don't want to burden people with yeah. your with your problems. But they absolutely want you. It's yeah. not a burden. They really. They're that your friends are there for you, and they want you to open up to them. And I have become so much closer with so many. people 
people yeah. through that. And and I and I, you know, I almost thank the universe for um, throwing me into that uh, awful situation that, that I was in, and and um, because it's made me a much stronger and and much more empathic person. And it's so important. This piece of fiction is the intro to destruction. This piece of fiction is.